What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie back with another video for y'all. And this video right here, we're gonna be talking about if you have Uranus in the sign of Pisces or in the 12th house. And I'll pause for the cause. If you don't know how to find your Uranus placement, if you're a new subscriber, if you're just starting off your journey of self-love, self-knowledge, self-understanding, if you don't realize why it's so important that you have to look at your birth chart, understand your birth chart, and to love yourself through astrology and morology, don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos, I'll put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you look at your birth chart or your natal chart, it's the same thing, and you realize you have Uranus and Pisces or Uranus and the 12th house, this video's for you. So without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? And you already know before I start, I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Uranus and Pisces people look like and act like in reality. Then I'm gonna have a list of celebrities that have Uranus in the 12th house. Now, before I start, I understand that because Uranus and Pisces, because Uranus and Pisces generation is so young, I have to go back to the first generation of Uranus and Pisces people. So these are much older. This, this is like the first generation of Uranus and Pisces. So you might not know everybody on this list, but understand that it's because y'all are so young. But anyway, to start off, we have Marilyn Monroe, Mozart, Nostradamus, Malcolm X, Stan Lee, Betty White, and Miles Davis. And now these are the celebrities that have Uranus in the 12th house. We have Madonna, Kim Kardashian, Martin Luther King Jr., Billie Eilish, Alicia Keys, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Steven Spielberg, Wiz Khalifa, Kelly Rowland, and Tyler Perry. All right, so boom, Uranus in the 12th house, Uranus in Pisces. First of all, what does Uranus mean? What does Uranus represent in our birth chart? So the planet Uranus rules Aquarius. When you think about Uranus energy, think about Aquarius energy, which is rebellious, eccentric, different, goes against the grain, likes to break traditions, spontaneous, unsuspecting. So the planet Uranus is the planet that's really, it tells us like unpredictable events happening. It tells us where we feel the need to liberate ourselves to go against the grain. You can correlate Uranus to lightning or natural disasters or things that happen unsuspectingly. It comes in without knowing it. It kind of creates chaos. It kind of changes and shakes things up. But Uranus rules progressive progression. It rules astrology, it rules technology. Anything that has to do with changing the current situation, changing traditions, and progressing it and moving it forward. So um, having Uranus, Uranus is a generational planet. So this generation is going to be in like 2003. If you're born between 2003 and 2000, 2010, you will have the same Uranus sign. What will make y'all different is knowing what house Uranus is in. Tells you where in your life you feel the need to go against the grain. Tells you where in your life you feel the need to be liberated, to go against traditional norms in a way. So now what does it mean having Uranus in Pisces or Uranus in 12th house? So, so start off understandably so to understand that 12th house energy and Pisces, Pisces energy already in general, if you're not aware of yourself, if you don't know astrology, if you don't really understand yourself on a deep subconscious level, it's, it can be a difficult placement because the 12th house represents our subconscious mind. It's like our hidden self. It's the esoteric world. It's the spiritual realm. It's the hidden. It's like the illusionary house too. So things can. It's really hard to pinpoint what's going on over there. And when you have Uranus here, Uranus comes comes in here and wants to be rebellious, wants to break free from these kind of things. So understand that people that have this placement, especially if you have it in the twelfth house, and the generation of Uranus and Pisces people, your subconscious mind, your dreams, your your spirituality is going to be a sense of emphasis in this lifetime that you want to break free from. So most likely growing up, most likely in your childhood, when it came to you expressing your imagination, expressing your spirituality, expressing the things that go on, go, the things that go on deep in your mind, you could have felt that it was um, shunned or people didn't want to listen to you or you just felt so different. You, you kind of felt weird and eccentric that you're on this energy. So now it's kind of like as you grow older, you kind of keep it to yourself, you're mad low key with it. And if you're not aware of astrology, you, you can like kind of go the left way and not really care about your subconscious your subconscious mind and not really care about spirituality in a way. So understand that having this placement, it's very important that you understand that you feel the most liberated, 
you feel the most free within yourself, the more you can tap into your own spirituality, the more you can tap into your own subconscious mind, and the more you understand that dreams is really big in this reality for y'all. Your imagination and your dreams is what kind of propels you in this lifetime. That's what gives y'all the sense of freedom, gives y'all the sense of fulfillment in this lifetime. So first of all, y'all are extremely imaginative, creative creatures, creative people. Having Uranus here adds in the spontaneous, the spontaneousness, it adds in the genius energy, because Uranus is like ruled by Aquarius, so that genius energy. So you have imagination, creativity, your dreams mixed in with that genius energy, mixed in with humanity, mixed in with the eccentricity, and mixed in mixed in with the rebelliousness. So putting these putting these together, that y'all would feel a need to always go against the grain in your own spirituality, to go against the grain in your own sense of imagination, and you will have a lot of different eccentric weird dreams in this reality. So I'll start off with the dreams part. Understand that the universe talks to all of us in different ways. Some through dreams, some through visions, some through people, some through animals. For y'all, the universe speaks to y'all through your dreams. So understand that the more you actually tap into your subconscious mind, the more you actually are aware of what's going on internally when it comes to what you think about yourself, what you, th what you think about life, what you think about spirituality, the more you're actually aware of these things, that will help you out in this lifetime. Y'all need to be really, y'all need to pay close attention to your mental health with this placement. Society doesn't really push mental health where awareness, mental health, wellness doesn't really push us all to really care about our mental health. So it's up to you to do your own research, to actually look within yourself, to actually learn about your childhood traumas, to actually tap into your subconscious mind. And there's a lot of YouTube channels that talk about mental health and all that. There's one I could suggest for y'all, and she does a really good job at like breaking down mental clarity, mental health, talking about childhood trauma. She really does a really good job of helping people helping humanity tap into their mental health and the channel I'll, I'll leave i'll leave the link in the description it's called new mind frame y'all can go check her out she really does a good job at, at really helping y'all with the subconscious mind but understand that your mental health is if you don't tap into it if you're not paying close attention to it if you don't really if you don't put emphasis emphasis on it because uranus always wants to break free uranus wants to go against the grain you will feel the need to always break free and go against the grain with reality that you go into your own world. You could be susceptible of like really being escapism to the max because Uranus just wants to be different and eccentric. And if you're not aware of what's going on in your subconscious mind, if you're not aware of what's going on with your spirituality, with the 12th house Pisces unseen type things, you will find it difficult to really be in this reality and to be like a healthy mentally healthy, stable person if you're not aware of these things, if you're not working on these things. So understand that society doesn't want us to really care about mental health, but Uranus wants to go against society. Uranus wants to go against the grain. So the more you actually tap into these things, the more you actually learn about your mental health, study it, really like get at one within yourself, the more you isolate yourself sometimes to really know who you are, the more you are compassionate, empathic to people around you, that is how you feel the most fulfilled and free in this lifetime. So this generation, we're looking at y'all to really help the world, give the world compassion, give the world empathy, give the world spiritual healing, because y'all have a whole different way of looking at spirituality. So the more you tap into these things, the more you actually gain confidence within yourself to share your information with, with humanity, to share your, your thoughts, to share your dreams with humanity, to share your visions with humanity, to share your imagination and your creativity with humanity. Instead of hiding it, instead of keeping it to yourself because you've been afraid of rejection or afraid of what people might say the more you actually step up to the plate and actually you know tap into these things with yourself that is how you will help humanity you'll feel liberated you'll feel at one with your, within yourself you'll feel fulfilled within yourself so understand that it's very important that you have your own way of viewing life your own spirituality your own way of tapping into yourself your own way of healing yourself from your subconscious um subconscious past really tapping into what makes you think the way you think now understand that Uranus changes sporadically. Uranus comes comes in unsuspectingly, does things, create chaos, and leaves unsuspectingly. So this will happen to y'all that you could wake up one day and can feel weird, can feel different. It's all about the things that's not seen that's in your subconscious mind. So understand that it could change drastically. That's why I, that's why I said before, y'all could feel uncomfortable in this reality. Sometimes you feel like you're very alone, you're very like to yourself. You could kind of create your own reality 
be stuck in your own world, not really understand what's going on. And that's where the escapism comes in. So keep that in mind for this placement that you don't really want to escape reality because you don't understand what's going on mentally. You don't understand what's going on with your childhood traumas. Like you have to really pinpoint your own spiritual beliefs, pinpoint your own esoteric beliefs, your own mental healing. You have to really pinpoint on these things tremendously. And the more you actually are focused on these things, the more you actually have your own individual way of expressing it, the more you actually express your artisticness, your creativity, your imagination, big time, the more you actually tap into these things and help humanity tap into it as well. That is how you feel liberated and blessed in this reality. So your creativity is A1. Look at Stan Lee. He created the Marvel characters. You, like, you have to have a tremendous creativity to be able to create something like that. Your dreams is really big. You're, you get a lot of messages in your dreams. Look at Martin Luther King Jr. He has uh, Uranus in the 12th house. The I have a dream speech is not a coincidence that he had a dream and really, really tapped into himself through dreams. Like understand that y'all really have a way to tap into the esoteric world, the spiritual world differently than, than the rest of us, differently than everybody. If you're not afraid of these things, if you don't, if you ignore these things, if you don't really look at these things, you will realize like you don't feel at one within yourself. You don't feel like you fit in. You just feel, you feel by yourself internally, mentally, subconsciously, and spiritually. But the more you actually can really focus on these things, heal yourself from your subconscious, um, subconscious traumas, heal yourself from your, heal, heal yourself from your childhood past, the more you can actually tap into your subconscious mind and understand what's going on, you will feel liberated. You'll be able to tap into it and help humanity also tap into it. Like I said, society doesn't really care about mental health right now. So it's up to y'all to kind of tap into it, heal yourself, and to put society on to understanding understanding mental health. To put society to put society on a put to, whoa. To put society on to understanding spirituality in a different way. To understanding the esoteric world in a different way. To be empathic and to be compassionate to the whole world in a different way. But don't take this compassion thing and the empathy thing to the max. Because like I always say with Pisces videos, really be aware of who you're being compassionate and empathic around. Because people take Pisces energy for granted if you're, if you're being so overly empathic to the wrong people. But the world does need y'all to help us to tap into our mental health, to tap into spirituality differently, and to tap into being empathic and and being progressive as a whole, as, as a humanity as a whole. So I'm going to keep stressing this point. 12th house energy, Pisces energy is, is subconscious. So you can't really, if you're not paying attention to it, you won't, re, you won't be able to pinpoint what's going on. But if you isolate yourself sometimes, if you're by yourself, if you really look deep within yourself and you're not afraid of tapping into these things subconsciously, esoterically, spiritually, if you're not afraid of tapping into these things and you actually study these things and learn about it and actually be able to liberate yourself by being able to express it out and to share your knowledge with the humanity, that is how you feel the most fulfilled in this lifetime. So understand that. So like I said, make sure you check out her channel, New Mind Frame, for those that really don't know how to, where to start when it comes to the childhood traumas or when it comes to when it comes to the subconscious mind. But generally, we need y'all to help us learn how to tap into the new way of spirituality, the new way of our mental clarity, the new way of our subconscious energy, the, the subconscious mind. So that was my video on Uranus and Pisces. I hope y'all enjoyed that. That was my last video of this series, and I appreciate all y'all that have been watching. My next video is gonna be a secret, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that to myself right now. But whatever it is, you already know I'm about to go in. But if you have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate all y'all for real, for real. If you still haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy, Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'm gonna see all y'all when I see y'all. Peace.